as the first week of gator season heats up. Watch him ask, he's got my stick. He's definitely alive. Oh my God. Bonnie seems to enjoy going off on the land, but I despise it. One team risks everything for a major haul. We're going to do whatever we got to do to catch him. A family rivalry emerges. Watch how many big alligators we're going to catch with my baby. OK, we're going to see which one carries the big ones to the house. And a veteran hunter returns to the fray. I'm going to have to be careful. I ain't got nobody to help me. Whoa! <laughs> rises in Bayou Sorrel. Veteran gator hunter Willie Edwards and his son Little Willie are running lines in one of Willie's favorite honey holes. Look at that. Chicken still hanging. Still up. This morning it started off kind of rough, but uh, I just hope it all changes and, and mean goes to the better instead of the bad. Look at this. That chicken ain't no good. Chicken's always good. Are you going to see? They done gave up on that. With their chicken line still hanging, Little Willie decides to spring a new surprise bait on his old man. Let me show you what we're working with. What the hell is that? Look at that. What is that? That's goat goozer pipe. Goozer pipe is a goat's trachea, believed by some hunters to be a delicacy alligators can't resist. I don't like it. I, mean, I don't know if we're going to use that. Well, we using it. We're going to bait these hooks and go bait them with that damn chicken. We're going to leapfrog? I oh, bait a hook. leapfrog. I bait a hook with that. You bait a hook with okay. chicken. OK. You ain't going to catch that chicken. I bet we do. You're going to see. You're going to be wanting to go to the market and beg for that. Watch how many big alligators we're going to catch with my bait. We're going to have a little challenge. He's going to use his bait and everything. I'm going to try this goat lungs and goat goozer pipe out, and we're going to see which one carries the big ones to the house. You know how hard that's going to be to get off there? Oh, it ain't going to be hard. I ain't hooking okay. it. I ain't hooking it all through that goozer pipe. It ain't going to last that long on the hooks. You see that? Yeah, come on, put it on that thing. I know we you have to change even... all that bait tomorrow. You wouldn't even be able to resist that. Him bringing bait in the boat and everything is showing me that he wanted to put effort in it. And I'm proud of him, but we're going to try it out and see how it works. But I don't think it's going to work. Got something? In round one of the competition, the winner is Willie. Ooh. And that's chicken on this one. Hopefully, it don't break that rope. Oh, yeah. That thing got some weight on him. Want me to pick that pole up? Yeah, grab that pole before it breaks. That's a baby. Watch him cut it. Oh. 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 Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Oh, he's about to break it. He's about to break it. He's about to break it. Get him up here. Yeah, he about broke all that. He ain't breaking it no more. That was chicken right there, boy. Ready? Yes, indeed. First hook, and we hook it out on there with that chicken, and big old alligator, I mean, if nothing ain't broke, don't fix it. Chicken's always good. It always does its job. Fourteen miles to the northwest at Lake Fossey Point, King of the Swamp, Troy Landry and his deckhand Pickle prepare to hunt in one of Troy's secret spots. Uh-oh, this don't look good. There's an old beaver dam right there. Across this yesterday when we set them lines with no problem. Oh, Lord. 
through the years, the beavers built a big dam across the little bayou. When the water's up a little bit, I cross the beaver dam and I go to the back, which I don't get to hunt often in the back. So I usually catch a nice alligator or two when I do go to the back. We passed right here yesterday. The water level has dropped overnight, blocking access to their lines. What you gonna do? I don't like this. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, we gotta run these lines back here. Uh, the best thing we could do is try to get over it. OK, well, you the captain. With a single entry point, Troy decides their only option is to jump the beaver dam. I got to get back there and run them lines. I can't think about not running them. Sit right there and hold you're lucky on. I trust you, old man. Huh? So you're lucky I trust you. I'm nervous and scared and just don't want anything to happen to either one of us. But he seems confident, and he just wants to push through. I'm going to take off. I'm going to get a running start. OK. A lot can go wrong. You might think you're going to go straight over it, but sometimes it throws you to the right or to the left. Say your prayers. It's very dangerous. The last thing I want to do is get Pickles hurt. Go ahead. I got to make sure this thing is pumping. Yeah. Quite sure. <laughs> uh, huh? That was fun. I think you're we're going right? to make I it. Oh, no, I'm good. You good? Oh, yeah. We done got in here. Since it was all underwater yesterday, it was real soft and wet. Everything was wet, so we didn't have no trouble. Now we got to run our lines, and hopefully we don't catch too much. Hope we don't catch the big one. Yeah. <laughs> if we catch the big one, how the hell are we going to get out of here? I don't know. We can't put much more weight in the boat to be able to make it out. Seventy-seven miles southeast in Myrtle Grove, an explosion of aggressive monsters on the swamp has brought veteran hunter Bruce Mitchell out of retirement. Well, I ain't been fishing gators in a couple years, but I had a couple people call me and kind of wanted me to come help them out and get rid of some of these gators because they're scared. You know, they're populating so much, people are getting scared of them. They got gators here. In past years, Bruce hunted alongside his dog, Tyler, and sharpshooter Ron Methvin. This season, Bruce is going solo. Yeah, this year, you know, I don't got nobody. Uh, Ron's working. Uh, Tyler's gone. It's just me by myself. Line down. I need you to grab this line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good game. him no more. <clears throat> Poor Winston lifesaver. Well, when you're hunting by yourself, you know, catching these big gators, they weigh seven, 800, 900 pounds. It's important to have a winch. That's my help. If I don't have a way to get these gators up in the boat, there's no use going out here. Oh, it's on there. That's a nice gator. First gator. Get her from over here. Whew. Uh, yeah, they got a big gator problem over here. They got some gators. 
and hopefully I can knock him out. Seventy-five miles away, in the Lake Verrett Spillway, Ronnie Adams and Ashley Deadeye Jones are hunting a remote spot notorious for giant territorial alligators. Big, aggressive gators, that's their terrain. They there to dominate the terrain, and they want to know what's in their area because they're coming to whoop them. I mean, they're getting so aggressive, they're just constantly eating other alligators. I mean, there is not enough food out there to support them. They think that line's down, Ash. Well, it ain't hanging, but I don't see where the line's going. No, no, I see the rope going back up on the land. Oh, my god. Come on, don't be with my god and what you're talking about. It is so too early for a land gator. Dadgum it, he is way back there. Ain't nothing like starting the morning off with a good one on land. Get that gun ready, because we got to go find it. Come on. Come on. We got this. Ronnie seems to enjoy going off on the land, but I despise it. That gator could pop that line and come straight at you, and I don't want this gator to come up and attack me. Boy, it's beat up good, too. I don't see the line yet, but boy, this is thick. It's thick, babe. Watch it. I'm freaking nervous, Ronnie. Listen, you just got to be ready, because he might charge back at us. See him yet, Ashley, so watch out. Oh, I see him under there, Ashley. I see him. Is he mad? I don't even know. It might be dead. Oh, oh he's got the pole! He's got the pole! On land, gators can lunge at over 14 yards per second. If he charges, we are shafted. Back up, back up, Ashley. Let me find something. Hold on. We good. Listen, I'm going to pull him forward, and you uh, creep around him. Uh, looks like he's looking right at me. I got his attention. Come on. Hit him good. Got a girl. Oh, good buddy. job, babe. Good job. Well, I'm wide awake now. There you go. Ain't nothing like a wake me up. That's better than coffee in the morning. You got him? Yeah, I got him. These alligators are all up on land like they are. They getting out that water because there's something big and badder down there that wants to eat them. He ain't showing himself, but he's here because they giving us all the signs to tell us they got a big boy in that water and they don't want to be eaten by him. Quick, quick. They got to have a bigger gator around. We need to catch him so they quit going on land, OK? Twenty-five miles northwest. In the competition for best bait, the score is even at two apiece. Now the Edwards boys are headed for a line with Little Willie's Goosa. That big one's gonna be up here. You ain't gonna have nothing on that. Might have a old buzzard. A buzzard on top of the hook with an alligator done. They ate the buzzard too. Goose a pipe. Goose a pipe did that. Oh Lord! I'm gonna get that rope. Grab the gun. First time I ever saw one on this tree. I told you. Oh. Oh. Dog got dog. What an alligator there. Watch it, watch it. Yeah, just show you how to catch it, son. Here, yeah, son. Can you handle it? Watch that thing now. Come on. Shoot him, shoot him. He didn't like that. 
This nine-footer puts Little Willie ahead for the first time today. A decent little gator. I mean, the goose plate might one pay off. on that tree. I'll make a believe out of you. You make a believe out of me? I'll make a believe out of you. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's two on chicken and uh, three on goose, so you might have been right this morning, son. We're going to see by the day ends, though. Talking about? We baited them all up and everything. Now we're running back over. I'm in the lead. I got three alligators that I caught on my bait, and he got two, and it's looking good. I'm the captain of the ship today. Well, you ain't. Who got this steering wheel? Cut that tail. Put a tag in there. We're going to the next one. Yeah, boat alone. We're going to the next one. I'm going to show you what the captain Man, is today. Man, Willie. Oh, I'm the captain. You got the out of you, boy. You cut that tail and put that tag I in there. I guarantee the next one, they're going to be on chicken. Northwest, in the cuts of Lake Fawcett Point. Troy and Pickle are in a remote honey hole. Low water levels forced them to plow through a beaver dam. But the area's proved almost too lucky. They're on a hot streak. Well, we caught a couple back there. Doing better than I expected. Yeah, me too. I'm a little worried. I don't know how we're going to get back across. We got back here, now we got to get out. Yeah, now we got to get out, right. I'm hoping we don't catch too much back here behind this beaver dam. <laughs> we got to jump this thing to get back out, and the heavier the boat is, the less easy it's going to be to get across. Looks like we got a big one. It looks limp, but I seen it move. Yeah, no, I just look. Oh, 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 oh. It's a goat. You heavy? You got him? Don't move the ball. Ooh. Ooh, I see the hook. Don't move the ball, Shorty. Don't move the ball. Don't move the ball. Oh, he's rolling. He's rolling. All right, Papa Troy, whenever you can get a shot on him. I was hoping we would catch small alligators now that I seen the, how much the water dropped out. And of course, this alligator is a giant. I'm talking about this thing must weigh five or 600 pounds. I tell you, we always want to catch a big one, but them son of a bitches make us work. Ninety-three miles away, in Myrtle Grove, Bruce is trying to clear a canal that's packed with giants. In just over an hour, he already has four in the boat. I fished over here years ago. I'm talking about 25, 30 years ago. And uh, there was just no gator. But now, it looks like they're really coming back over here. Going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good game. Oh, yeah. Whoa! I don't know about big, but he sure went fast. Whoa! Oh, golly. Whoa! Come on, chill out. Ain't a 
bad look at her at all. Oh. <clears throat> got a hole in his back. I mean, none of the gators been chewing on him. Well, a place like this, they got more and more gators moving in here, and they eat everything out. That's why these things are so aggressive. I'm gonna have to be careful and watch every step I do, you know. I, I don't wanna get jerked out the boat on top of a gator. I ain't got nobody to help me. So I do what I got to, you know. There go. Look at his back. I'm looking at them marks on him. Look how wide. So that, that mouth was that wide on this gator, you know. Oh, this guy just got lucky. And then he turned around and got unlucky. <laughs> Down south, in the Lake Verest Spillway, Ronnie and Ashley are searching for a monster that's scaring everything onto land. Let's see, what do we got? Where's the line? Uh, I don't know. It's down. Oh, he's on land. Look at him. I see him right there. You know what this means, huh? I'm telling you, if we got all these alligators hooked on a line and they up on the land, they getting away from a big, massive, aggressive alligator, and we're going to catch you. This one ain't big enough to be scaring all them gators. Grab this line with this hook so I can stop you from lunging at you. I'm really sick of getting off on land because I'm the one that's holding the gun. I don't need Ronnie getting hurt either. It's kind of really all up to me when I'm the one that has to shoot it. Ashley knows lining up her shot won't be easy. He's going to come at you. You got him good? Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. You got to sneak all around the back side of him, the way he can't see you. There you go. See, he saw you from the side there. Oh. Thank God for that tree. I told you, that's why I would never send you in the wrong direction. My stick, he done bent my stick, that little joker. Now, what's the new plan? Let him turn back around on you, Ronnie. He's furious now. Come on, yo! We gotta try to shoot him like we can. Come ah! on, get him, girl. Where you right, Creep up on him right there, Poppy. Right there, Ashley. Go to sleep, boy. Good job, eh? Woo! We loading them, huh, girly? Ashley was thrown for a loop. I seen her look like the uh, saucers that her eyes were so big, because I just told her that there's a big alligator swimming in that water. And for it to be having these alligators up on land, he's got to be really big. Glad that little tree was there, because he was coming straight after me. I ain't ready for no more land gators. Click, click. That's when I'm screaming, baby. Bayou Sorrel, little Willie's Goosa pipe bait leads with eight gators, but Willie's chicken is close behind at six. Tell you what, it ain't over with yet. I don't know. That Goosa pipe working. Yeah, he getting a little too spunky for his draws. Just got to keep our head in the game and keep going and see who's going to win this day. It's down. Yeah, I got something down here. Looks like it might have something on it. Seen that rope tighten up. He's on yeah, it. he's on it. Yeah, good one. That's good uh, chicken right there, buddy. That ain't chicken. Yeah, that is. You're cheating. Go back this way. That's seven, eight. Coming back, buddy. Don't count me out until we done. I feel him pulling it. Get him up here. Come on, get him up here. That chicken right there, I'm telling you, that chicken pays off, boy. The chickens, I got steroids in them, make them strong. Ooh, look at that thing. God, dog. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Look at that, you can't even handle that rope. Oh. Can you handle it? Yeah, I'm slipping right here in the bottom of this boat. Pull it up. That's 
chicken boy. That's seven to eight. Coming back, I told you. I told you. You can't get that thing in here. I can't get him in here. This monster caught with chicken bait pulls Willie to only one gator behind little Willie and his goozer. Don't get mad now because I'm coming back. No, look, no you ain't coming Don't back. Don't get mad look what, now because I'm coming mine's back. Catch. Look what them are. I want to hear it. Don't get mad because I'm coming, I'm coming back. We ain't done yet. That goozer pipe in the fall behind. Chicken's coming back. 25 miles away, Ronnie and Ashley are searching for the monster that's chasing their gators onto land. These things are killing us on land. They're wearing us off. They're draining the life out of me. This bigger gator is hunting my lines and scares them off onto land. So if I kill this bigger gator, I won't have to worry about getting off on land again if I kill him. Oh, this has got to be the one. I got him. I got oh, him. Boat. Got him, girl. This gator is huge, Ronnie. It has to be the one that's been scared off those other gators. Oh, yeah, that's got to be the one, Chase. Oh, yeah. Can't tell. He might be barely hooked. Get the gun ready, girl. I'm ready. We got us a hammer here, Chase. Oh, my God. Archie, you going to roll into the boat. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, he's gonna pop it. Big pop of that, baby. Woo -woo. Get that shot on him. Come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yes! Woo -hoo. Well, that's, that's a big, a big one there, girly. This has got to be the gator that's been getting all the gators up on land. This is a big mother humper here, Papa. You think that's him? Oh, that's definitely him, Papa. <laughs> I can guarantee you that much, Jay. I don't think we got to worry about no more gators on land, because we don't kill the one that's eating them. This is going to take every bit of us to get this joke on the boat now. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Look at the size of that thing. At 12 feet and 650 pounds, this giant is the largest of the season so far. Boy, I tell you, we finally caught this big, humongous alligator. This sucker is huge. Obviously, this is the one because he just supersizes everybody. Let's roll. Woo! I know, right? Back in Myrtle Grove, with 10 angry beasts caught in this canal already, Bruce knows he's in for a long fight. I hunted this land before years ago, and uh, we had trouble catching gators, couldn't catch them. But now, I mean, there's gators everywhere you look here. See a little land tore up to the left there, so we might have us a swamp gator. Oh, I see a string going out. Oh, boy. That's good getter. God, you pull an oar. There's a strain. It's going back around. He almost broke my finger. This thing, he ain't playing. Oh, boy. Going for the ride. Hold on. Yep, that was a good battle on this gator. Probably have to get the head up in here, then turn around and get the tail in. I'm hopefully in to work that way. 
Uh, definitely gonna need me a new winch next year. This thing done got kind of raggedy on me. It's got a lot of pressure on it. Now, <sighs> trying to get this big gator in the boat, and poof, the pulley breaks. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. All right, still got part of the winch on here. I just got a piece of a winch here, but anything I have to help me get that gator in that boat is it's gonna be better than nothing. Capturing this 11-foot behemoth makes the area safer, but with his winch broken, he's lost the ability to lift the gator completely out of the water. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I catch a gator. It's gonna be hard to get him in without a winch. Meanwhile, in Bayou Sorrel, little Willie holds a two-gator lead on his dad in their competition to catch gators using different baits. Look like he's ahead a little bit now, and it was going good, and we was kind of tight one time, and then it went back and forth, back and forth, and then now he's ahead, and I mean, I might have stuck my foot in my mouth. Oh, I see it up there. It's down. This don't chicken. That's something there. Look like it. I see the riffles. Look like it's his head, just his nose and his eyes coming out in the bottom right there. Been known for a bull right here. Look at all, all the mud balls. water coming up right there, so there's got to be something big. Pretty good little size. I mean, he look like about seven, eight foot maybe. What you feel like? Ooh, that's another big one. Yeah, that's a big one. You see what that chicken catch? That big one. Watch it. Watch your hand. Oh. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Watch your hands, watch your hands, he's rolling oh. up. Hold him, hold him. Watch him, he's rolling up, watch your hands. He's about to tear this light off the deck. Watch him, he's getting in the boat. He's about to tear this light off the deck. I ain't worried about the light off the deck. He's getting in the boat. He's a head boy. He didn't like that. Well, look like your bait caught more. Mine caught the biggest. Ah, that goose pipe looked like they like it more. On the size wise, that uh that chicken got that goozer pipe beat. How many we got? That goozer pipe got the chicken beat. With the last tag for the area filled, the father and son duo can split the bragging rights. Little Willie's goozer brought in more gators, while Willie's chicken caught the biggest. I feel like I'm proving myself more and more to my dad. I mean, second season, I'm proving to him that I got what it takes to be an alligator hunter. And uh, I feel pretty good now. Yeah, i give you the honor to cut that tail. That's the last one of the day, but uh, I still think that chicken's better. She did catch more on them uh, goose pipes. I mean, can't argue about it. I mean, they was a little smaller, but going on the, uh, the how many we caught, here's one. You one up over me, but mine's the biggest, though. I beat you. Well, whatever. I beat you. 46 miles away, on the outskirts of Lake Fossey Point. Troy and Pickle are filling up their boat behind the Beaver Dam. You got any ideas of how we're going to get out of here? Not really, to be honest with you. I thought you had a game plan. I'm trusting We're going to get out to see where we got in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because we don't hunt here that often in the back, 
Almost every line got an alligator. Almost every line. You see him right there? Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, there yeah, the line's moving, yeah. Whoa, whoa, we got one. Don't wrap your hand, whatever you do. Whoa! Oh, no, uh-uh. Whoa. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big one, baby girl. Oh. Ooh. Watch it, watch it. Him. Don't let him bite your foot. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Don't move the ball. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Grab, reach your leg. Reach down there for a leg. Okay, one, three. You ready? Right. One, two, three. <clears throat> Leave this foot go. Okay. Leave that foot go. You're rolling it? Yep. Come on, roll it, big ass. Okay. Mm. Watch your legs. Oh! oh no. Get off my foot, you. You know, we're doing good. This is a big alligator. But now I got to figure out how the hell we're going to get out of here. You love jump that lever and I catch one or two nice ones. Yeah. I don't usually fill up the boat. Yeah, you got a little more than one or two in here. I hope we ain't got to unload this, all of this crap to cross back. You might have to. We got a good problem on our hands. A good problem, that's right. That's one way to call it. Meanwhile, back in Myrtle Grove, though Bruce's winch is busted, he managed to haul in his last catch. Now he's down to his last line. Hey, is that there? Oh, yeah. He's all tangled up and everything. With no way to get the gator in the boat, Bruce's only option is towing it all the way back to the dock. My winch has broke. I mean, it's going to be tough to do this, but I got to do it. I have no choice. This is the cards I have out here, so I'm going to have to just deal with it. Bruce pulled in 12 giants today, but if he can't fix his winch, his season could be over. Across the bayou, near Lake Fossey Point, the rain has begun to fall. Troy and Pickle have a boat full of massive heavy gators. Now they have to decide on a plan to get them back across the Beaver Dam. You got any ideas on how we're gonna get out of here? We caught way more than I was expecting to catch. Uh, take the gators out of the boat, maybe, and then jump and load them back in on the other side. We might have to. OK, I think that's kind of the only thing we got. <laughs> Son of a gun. Going in, it was just Pickles and I in our bucket of bait, so the boat wasn't that heavy. You put seven or eight alligators in a boat at three or 400 pounds a piece, next thing you know, you got 3,000 pounds, more or less, in the boat. OK, right there. Let him go. Let him flop out the boat. I'm going to put it. We're going to pick out some of the smaller ones, some that we can handle. Then we're going to try to jump the lever with two or three of the bigger ones in the boat. 
but we can, we're going to try to take as many of the small ones out as we can. There you go. Is the last one? Uh, yeah. I got it. As aggravating as the rain is, I think it's a good thing. I ain't never worked so hard. Aw. I'm getting too old for this I really think it's going to help us to get back across. Everything's going to be wet and slippery. It's a pain in the butt, but I think it's going to help us. You ready, Pickle? Oh, yeah. Hold still. Hold on for your life. Oh, be careful, man. Hold on, Pickles. Woo! Hold on. What? Good job. <laughs> Not a hard part. We gotta go get all these gators back in the boat. We gotta boat. go back and load oh, the yeah. boat. But hey, we made it. We made it. That's the main thing. Woo. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Now that the day is over, I feel it was worth it. We caught good, we filled up the boat, and it paid off. I'm glad I came. Oh, we caught better than I expected, huh? Yeah, we did huh? good. Yeah, we did good. Woo.